Okay, so in today's video, we are going to take a look at how to solve the fractional convergence in this external free action atomic balance and molecular species balance method. Okay, so let's take a look at the atomic balance approach first. Okay, so as for the atomic balance approach, the first thing that we need to know is the is obviously the opening is the uh, equation which is for as you can see here that there's four ammonia four moles of ammonia react with five moles of oxygen to produce four moles of nitrogen monoxide and six moles of water so it has been known that the fractional conversion of oxygen is 0 0.5 so my 0 0.5 is equivalent to so the formula for fractional conversion is actually in minus out divided by in so it has been stated here that the inlet molar flow rate is 5 mole per hour for uh, uh, ammonia and 5 moles per hour for oxygen so this is a fractional conversion for this is the fa or fractional conversion for oxygen so in this regard we in this case we need to use the in so in there is actually 5 moles per hour so we're going to do 5 moles per hour minus without and then divide it with 5 moles per hour okay let's do 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 multiply with 5 is given to 5 minus out so we can actually do out so 0 0.5 times out there again 5 times 2.5 and then 5 minus out so the rearrange equation so out because blood up by out and then 5 minus again 2.5 so 5 minus 2.5 is given to 2.5 moles per hour so ni adalah out okay ni adalah out untuk ni out untuk oxygen the out the outlet stream for oxygen okay uh okay so kalau nak tahu so let's take a look here for NH3 for ammonia we act with 5 oxygen to produce uh, 4NO and 6H2O 4NO and 6 moles of H2O so in this case and then this one is this is the inlet flow rate for, this is the inlet flow rate for ammonia and this is the inlet flow rate for oxygen okay it has been known that in is given to out okay inlet inlet stream is given to outlet stream okay let me inlet stream is given to outlet stream okay so we okay the atomic balance approach so in this case we need to take a look by atoms we have to view it by atoms so let's take a look at nitrogen atom first so in nitrogen atoms for nitrogen atoms this one here okay the, in ammonia there is a nitrogen atom but there is no nitrogen atom in oxygen so what we do is that is that we take this one is five moles so we put it five moles this is the molar flow rate for ammonia so five moles per hour multiply with one one uh, one atom of nitrogen because there is only one atom of nitrogen so that's why I put one because there is only one atom of nitrogen in the inlet stream okay this one we are talking about the inlet stream Okay, and that's it and then as for oxygen there is no nitrogen here so that's why we don't have to actually uh, plus it with anything and then equivalent to outlet outlet okay as for the outlet we first have to take a look at uh, okay as for the outlet stream we don't know we don't know the, um, the exact amount the exact uh, molar flow rate for the outlet stream so that's why we put n dot n dot off we start from here we start from from the beginning of the equation which is nh3 
because we are talking about nitrogen atom. So we start from here. So NH3, this is the uh, the uh, uh, molar flow rate for ammonia in in the outlet stream. Okay, molar. F this what this means is the is that this is the molar flow rate of the outlet stream for ammonia, and then we multiply it with the number of atoms of and the number of nitrogen atoms that are available in ammonia. In this case, there is only one atom. One, no, there is only one nitrogen atom. So we put here one, and then we plus with. Okay, as for oxygen, there is no hydrogen. Eh, I mean, there is no nitrogen. So we don't have to put to put. We don't have to actually uh, add it. And then for nitrogen monoxide, we do have a nitrogen atom here. So we put n dot, which is the molar flow rate of NO of nitrogen monoxide in the outlet stream, which we don't know. That's why I put it as n dot NO. It is an unknown. And then multiply it with the number of atoms. I mean, then multiply it with the number of nitrogen atoms that is available that is available in the nitrogen monoxide, in sh which in this case there is only one nitrogen atom in NO. So we put one. Okay, and uh, as for this one, there is no nitrogen atom, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay. Next, so if we simplify this, it would look something five multiplied by one is equal to five, and then n dot NH three multiply by one is obviously the same thing, and then n dot of n o nitrogen monoxide. So this is our first equation. Okay, and then we have to take a look at the hydrogen atom. If you take a look here, in this particular equation, there is only there is only three types of atom, which is nitrogen, hydrogen, and oxygen. So we have done the first type of atom, which is nitrogen. Now, we will move on with the next type of atom, which is hydrogen. So for hydrogen, the same formula in the equivalent to outlet, in the stream, equivalent to outlet stream. So in the stream, for hydrogen, it states here that this okay in okay as for the hydrogen in the oxygen molecule there is no hydrogen so we don't have to worry about it. However, there is a hydrogen at the terms in ammonia in NH3. So we need to calculate this one. So how do we calculate it? As you can see here, there is this five moles, right? So just put it here five moles per hour. Then we multiply it with 5 moles per hour multiply with the amount of the number of hydrogen atoms that are available in ammonia, which in this case is 3. Okay, so we multiply it by 3. And then this is this is the outlet stream. On the right hand side we are talking about outlet stream. So as uh, as we can see in the question, there is no information that has been provided regarding the outlet stream, so we just put it as unknown. N dot of NH3. NH3, okay. We start always start from the beginning of the equation. So this one, NH3. We start with NH3 first. So N dot of NH3. And then multiply with multiply with the number of atoms of hydrogen which in this case is 3 okay so this is the molar flow rate of NH3 in the outlet stream and then we multiply it with the number of hydrogen atoms that are available in NH3 which is 3 obviously and then we add plus with let's take a look at other type of uh, substance or compound or gas that has that contains the hydrogen atom so this one don't have this one also don't have, so this one have. This one is 6H2O. 6H2O. So we don't know the molar flow rate of water in the outlet stream, right? We don't know. So we put it as N dot H2O. That's the reason why we put it as N dot H2O. And then we multiply it with the number of atoms of hydrogen in H2O which is 2 so multiply with 2 okay this one okay so 5 times 3 is 15 okay before that let's take a look if there is any hydrogen atom if 
there is any hydrogen atom okay this one we already done it this one don't have any hydrogen atom this one the same goes for this one this one we already done it so NH3 and H2O just to be clear okay NH3 and H2O okay so everything is good so 5 times 3 is 15 and then this one is 3 and dot of NH3 plus with 2 and dot of H2O okay so this will be our second equation okay now we have done in regards to uh, with I mean in terms of nitrogen we have done in terms of as well as hydrogen so we will move on to the next type of atom which is oxygen okay as for oxygen okay as for oxygen um, here okay, oxygen this one is five poles so NH3 don't have oxygen but this one clearly have oxygen atom oxygen atom so five moles of five moles per hour take five moles per hour multiply with the number of oxygen atoms in oxygen molecule so this one is in oxygen in one in one oxygen molecule we have two oxygen atom so you just multiply it by two because we are calculate with respect to atom that's why it's called atomic balance and then um, let's take a look at the outlet stream outlet stream in the outlet stream always start from the beginning of the equation this one don't have any oxygen atom but the oxygen molecule of course have the oxygen atom so n dot of this is n dot n dot of O2 which means that the molar flow rate of oxygen in the outlet stream multiply with the number of atom of the number of oxygen atom in oxygen molecule which is 2 and then we plus it with we add it with what else NO so this one done let's take a look at this one so this NO we don't know the exact amount of molar flow rate of uh, nitrogen monoxide in the outlet stream so just put it as unknown so n dot n o multiply with the number of atoms of the number of oxygen atoms in n o which is one plus with n dot of h2o h2o in h2o there is only one at oxygen atom right okay this is at n dot h2o stands for the molar flow rate of water in the outlet stream okay so 5 times 2 is 10 and then 2 n dot o2 plus with n dot n o plus with n dot h 2 o so okay okay so this is this is the third equation and this equation is the only equation that we need to solve this particular problem so it has been stated earlier that um, if you take a look at the question it has been stated that um, the fractional conversion of oxygen is 0 0.5 right and as you can see here from the calculation that 0 0.5 I uh, mean the fractional conversion of oxygen is given into in minus out divided by in which means that the amount of the molar flow rate number of moles or molar flow rate that is going in inside the reactor or wherever it is minus with the amount of oxygen that's coming out divided by the amount of oxygen that's coming in so we know we already know from the questions that the amount of oxygen the inlet molar flow rate of oxygen is actually 5 moles per hour right so 0 0.5 and we already know the fractional conversion is 0 0.5 so you just substitute it into the formula 0 0.5 is equivalent to 5 moles per hour which is the inlet which is the oxygen uh, inlet stream minus with the outlet stream which we don't know so we just put it as unknown divided by 5 moles per hour then we rearrange the equations 5 times 0 0.5 is equivalent to 2.5 and then rearrange the equation again negative we put it here so 5 minus 2.5 is equivalent to 2.5 which means that from this particular formula we already know that the outlet stream of oxygen is 2.5 moles per hour okay 
So we already know that the that's how we know that the um uh, that the outlet stream of oxygen is 2.5 mole power. Okay. So if you take a look at this one, then n dot o2 means the uh means that what what it is this is simply the n dot o2 simply means that the molar flow rate of oxygen in the outlet stream. So we can substitute the amount that we receive that we have just now, which is 2.5, into this particular formula, which is this one is 2.5. So we just substitute it inside here. So you get two multiplied by two point five squared into five. Then it's one ten. Okay. And then rearrange ten minus five squared into n dot and o plus plus n dot h two o. So ten minus five is given to five. Five is given to n dot of n o plus with n dot of h two o in the outlet stream. This will be our third equation, the simplified version. So we no longer have to use this one. So as we can see here, that. Um, let's take a look here first. So the first equation is 5 is given to n dot n h3 plus with n dot of n o. Second equation is 15 is equivalent to 3 n dot of n h3 plus 2 n dot of h2o in the outlet stream. Second equation, third equation will be 5 is given to n dot of n o plus with n dot of h two o. Okay, from here we can see. Hang on, okay, this is the third equation. From here that we can see that there is a similarity between equation one and equation three. This one is 5, this one is 5, this one is n dot n o, this one is n dot n o, which means that we can do something about it. So what we will do is that we will subtract it, so that we will be able to remove the same unknown to get the value of n dot h2o and n dot n h3. So let's try to do that first. So 5 is given to n dot n h3 plus with n dot of n o minus with 5 equivalent to n n dot of n o plus with n dot of h 2 o so 5 minus 5 is equivalent to 0 n dot n o minus n dot n o is obviously is equivalent to 0 so which leaves us with n dot of n h 3 minus with n dot of h two o and if we rearrange the equation we will simply get n dot of h two o is equivalent to n dot of n h three which means that they are referring to the same thing so assuming that n dot h two o is equivalent to n dot of h three so what we do is that we just substitute into the into this equation, into the second equation. So 15 is given to 3 n dot of n h3, right? So since n dot of n h3 is given to n dot of h2o, so we'll just consider them as n dot of h2o instead, plus with 2 n dot of h2o. So that if we add them together, we shall get 5 n dot of h2o given to 15. 15 divided by 5 is given to 3, which means that 3 is given to n dot of h2o. 3 moles per hour, okay. 3 moles per hour is given to n dot of h2o. And since n dot of h2o is given to n dot of h3, 
3 is also equivalent to n dot of n h3 because they are referring to the same thing. Okay, we already got, we already have our n h3, h2o. Now let's take a look at our n o. Let's take a look at the third equation, which is 5 minus, 5 is equal n dot of n o plus width n dot of h2o so 5 this one is unknown plus with n dot of h2o is given to 3 so 5 minus 3 is given to 2 so our n dot of n o is given to 2 moles per hour okay this one is simply 2 moles per hour for n dot of n o and then apart from that we also need to find our n dot okay n dot of nh3 already got okay so this one we already have nh3 done n o done yeah so basically we already have every molar flow rate that we need so let's take a look at hang on so n n dot n o n dot n o done n dot h two o done n dot n h three is also done n dot n o is the same thing n dot n h three is given into three so we already have all of our outlet streams and that's how you solve this particular problem this problem by using the atomic balance approach as for the extent of reaction approach, it's very easy and simple to do. You just have to. Okay, so let's take a look at the extent of reaction method. Mm. Okay, the formula for the extent of reaction method is actually N. N inlet. This one is the final. It's equivalent to N inlet of an inlet knot which means that the molar flow rate of the initial I mean the molar flow rate of the inlet for the initial one plus with mu this is the stoichiometric coefficient multiply with the um, the extent of reaction or xi this one is the extent of reaction okay um, but before, okay, so let's take a look first. Uh, the inlet the fractional conversion of oxygen is actually 0 0.5. So, fractional conversion of oxygen is 0 0.5. So, it has been the same formula can be used that, that we used just now. 0 0.5 fractional conversion is given to in minus out divided by in. So, our in is, I believe, 5 so and then we just keep this thing ahead because we already got it just now so we shall get our out to be mm, is it 2.5 i think is it 2.5 was it yeah i think it's yeah it's 2.5 so it's 2.5 more power we already done this so you don't have to actually repeat um okay so as for the extent of reaction method you just have to take a look at two things the first thing that you have to note that you have to take note of is the molar flow rate of NH3 and molar flow rate of oxygen as well as their respective um, stoichiometric coefficient which is the stoichiometric coefficient for NH3 ammonia is 4 while the stoichiometric coefficient for oxygen is actually 5 so what you do is that and keep in mind that the sign for the reactant is actually positive well the sign i mean the signs for the um product is uh, yeah i'm sorry the signs for the pro for the reactant is actually negative while the signs for the product is actually positive so with keeping that in mind let's proceed with our formula so n i stand for the molar flow rate molar flow rate of the inlet streams but it's actually the final one if n i not then this one is referring to the initial one initial flow rate initial molar flow rate of the inlet stream okay this one is the 
final molar flow rate of the inlet stream okay so this one we don't know yet but we already know this one which is 5 okay and then we plus with the stoichiometric v v or mu v or mu is actually uh, the stoichiometric coefficient so let's say we want to take a look at any ammonia first okay so as for ammonia so it's actually five the i mean the inlet the initial inlet molar flow rate is actually five so we plus it if it is actually five so you just substitute it right here and then we plus with mu mu is actually the stoichiometric coefficient of ammonia which is four however since ammonia is a reactant we will write it as negative 4 instead because it is a type of reactant and this is just the uh, xi or the symbol for extent of reaction so if we simplify it we shall get 5 minus 4 and then xi this is the okay so this is our first equation this is our first equation for our, the extent of reaction method this one in terms of ammonia and then let's take a look at in terms of oxygen okay in terms of oxygen in terms of oxygen okay we apply by using the same formula this is the molar flow rate of this is the final molar flow rate of the inlet stream equals to the initial flow rate of the inlet stream plus with phi or mu uh, xi which is the extent of reaction so this one we don't know yet the ni so but we do know that this particular for oxygen the molar flow rate for oxygen is actually 5 5 moles per hour so we just put it 5 plus with v is actually the stoichiometric coefficient for oxygen so oxygen the stoichiometric coefficient is 5 however since oxygen is a reactant in this case so we'll put it as negative 5 instead so negative 5 and then the extent of reaction so 5 minus 5 xi so this is our, this is our second equation okay and then we also have to take a look at um, at NO nitrogen nitrogen monoxide. Okay, one. Okay, nitrogen monoxide. Let's take a look at nitrogen monoxide in the in the stream. All of this equation are referring to the in the stream. We are not talking about the outlet stream yet. Okay. So this one is the inlet inlet molar flow rate of the inlet stream the final molar flow rate of the inlet stream let's give it into the initial molar flow rate of the inlet stream plus with mu xi or the extent of reaction so for nitrogen monoxide you can see here that there is no nitrogen monoxide in the inlet stream so we can just proceed to assume it to be zero plus with the stoichiometric coefficient of NO is actually 4 and since it is a product we can just put it as 4 because it is a positive number because it is a product so that's why so this is our third equation and proceed with the fourth equation which is for water H2O H2O so the final molar final molar flow rate of the inlet stream is given into the initial molar flow rate of the inlet stream plus with mu xi okay so the same goes for water since there is no water in the outlet in the inlet stream we'll just assume it to be zero plus with plus with the v is referring to the stoichiometric coefficient of water which is six so since it is a 
product we can assume it to be positive so that's why we just put it as positive as positive six xi this is our fourth equation so if we were to add up all of these four equation we shall get something like this okay so this one is five okay i'll just use another color okay this one is this one this one this one and this one okay if we add them if we add them together so 5 plus 5 is given to 5 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0 so 5 plus 5 is basically 10 so negative 4 negative 4 plus negative 5 we shall get negative 9 negative 9 plus 4 we shall get negative 5 and negative 5 plus 6 we shall have positive 1 so we should get positive one xi this will be our overall um extent of reaction equation okay this would be the overall extent of reaction equation this one uh, whereby whereby n i is given to n i n i of um, nh3 plus with n i of o2 plus with n i of n o plus with n i of h2 o okay so once we have done this we just need to find this one just need to find this particular this extent of reaction the xi the value of xi so as, as we can see here that we already know that the outlet stream for oxygen is actually 2.5 because we we've uh, managed to solve it by using the information given from the uh, fractional conversion of oxygen which is 0 0.5 so rearranging the equation we shall get the outlet stream of oxygen is 2.5 so 2.5 here we can basically just substitute it right over here so and i and i this one is for oxygen oh i'm sorry that's not oxygen that's not oxygen i am so sorry so this one is the outlet stream for oxygen so you just substitute it um here instead because this one is for this one is for oxygen this is the oxygen one so n i is given to 5 minus 5 xi so substituting the value 2.5 is given into 5 minus 5 of xi so if we rearrange the equation we shall get 5 xi is given into 5 5 minus 2.5 which equals to 2.5 and divided by 5 and we shall get something like 0 0.5 I think let me calculate that 2.5 divided by 0 0.5 2.5 divided by eh. 2.5 divided by 0 2.5 divided by 5 0.5 yep so 2.5 divided by 5 is given to 0.5 so we already know the value of xi here so what we do is that we basically just just basically um, substitute it right here and we shall get our overall outlet stream so